Yep, you guessed it. I got my camera back and it's looking awesome. So, how could I possibly make this day any better? Well, I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure I can make my day worse. So, let's do that. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another Creaky Blinder video. A Creaky Blinder video. Anyway, today we're going to have a look at everyone's favourite flat earther, Daniel Pratt, who seems to have gone full tilt religious nutcase and disabled the comments on all his videos. Now, where's the fun in that? I stand corrected, it actually just seems to be the comments on all his flat earth videos. Okay, so I feel the need to do this because... Uh, maybe because your views are dropping faster than your IQ? Clarify once again that I'm not working against anybody. But that's exactly what you're doing, Dan. Because you make videos claiming that the Earth is flat, which is the stupidest rubbish I've ever heard in my life. And I'm from Wales. Or anyone's agenda. I've tried to make it crystal clear the only agenda I have is for Christ. And that's absolutely fine. I've got no problem with somebody for their religious beliefs. But you use your belief in Christ to push the flat earth rhetoric. So what's that all about, Dan? Whoa, why did my camera just go blurry my blur pants? Come on, can I? I've only just had it back. I'm going to explain why that is. Um, where I'm coming from in that aspect and how I don't see how science and Christ can't work together. And yeah, that's actually a pretty sensible thing to say because there is no reason why a religious person can't understand and follow along with the things that science has been proving to us for tens of thousands of years. There's absolutely no reason for somebody like you, Daniel Pratt, to use the Bible to push the flat earth. You just said it yourself. Um, along with Muslims and Buddhists and every other religion, even globe religion. And there he is, the Daniel Pratt that we all love to hate. <laughs> Believing that the earth is a globe is not a religion any more than well it just isn't is it unfortunately the problem we have is they are insistent on forcing their religion on us and by forcing it on you i'm assuming you mean trying with every fiber of our being to make idiots like you actually admit that you know that the earth is a globe to me, that is the biggest problem. I don't feel in any way, shape, or form the existence of belief in this world. But that's not true, is it? Because you believe the Earth is flat. Is the problem. Uh, it's the insistence of forcing belief on others. That isn't free will. But that's exactly what flat earthers do continuously on every flat earthers channel on every video they upload and in every live stream they do if that was the case um actually that may have been a little bit unfair everybody except you dan pratt because all you do is sit in your basement talking to your phone babbling absolute nonsense and in certain really long pauses. You do know you can edit those out, Dan, don't you? So, a world without belief, I cannot differentiate from a world full of robots. So, are you trying to say that you can't differentiate between fiction and reality? Because that's what it sounds like. Or a world full of wild animals. Do wild animals have beliefs? They have instinct. Is that belief? Well, no, it's not the same thing, is it? 
belief is the acceptance that something is true, even without proof. An instinct is a, a fixed behaviour pattern where an animal responds to certain stimuli. So they're not the same thing, clearly. What separates us from them? And if we're just going to be wild animals, then I guess, you know. Well, obviously, I can't speak for you or everyone watching. But what separates me from a wild animal is I don't go around sniffing people's assholes. <laughs> or robots. Why not just let the AI run the world? And, and there are people that are of that mindset. <sighs> What the actual f are you talking about? I've never heard anyone say they want robots to run the world. I've heard people say that they're concerned about the way technology is going and that maybe one day AI will become so intelligent that it potentially could be running things, but I've not come across anybody that actually wants that, Dan. You're just talking total garbage. So I'll never ask anybody to go kill those people, anything. But I, because of my mindset, my belief in Christ as the truth, the way, and the life, I'm going to oppose that naturally. Has anybody got any idea what the hell he's talking about? Because I'm completely lost. Who's killing who? Um, but all I can do is speak Christ's truth as to what he directs me. It's not my responsibility to convince ever anyone of anything. So why do you try so hard to do it then? We've all seen your experiments with bendy pipes and God knows what else. It's my job to point people to the word of Christ, how it gives you something to stand for, which is nothing but the truth, the whole truth. And that is what keeps you from being deceived by men. Now, I watch a lot of Flat Earth videos. I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. But this... The, what the hell? So... Right, let me, let me clear this up in, in my own head. So, Daniel Pratt feels a responsibility to steer people towards the Lord, or Jesus Christ. And if he can steer people towards Jesus Christ, who only speaks the truth, then we won't be deceived by the people by they, the people that are actually providing us with factual information and not people like Daniel Pratt who are trying to push the flat earth on us. If you cannot verify it as truth through your own uh, discernment, aided with the Holy Spirit in your belief in Christ, test it through him, then don't believe it. Again, let me just go over this in my mind. <laughs> you're welcome, by the way. So, if you can't verify it yourself, and by that I'm going to assume that you mean demonstrate it, repeat it, and actually see it, then it's not true. I really don't see what Jesus Christ has got to do with any of that, Dan, but you can't see that the earth is flat. You can't demonstrate that the earth is flat. And yet you still believe it. You don't have to believe it. And that's how you keep from getting stuck on a whirling, twirling ball in space. Can I say for certainty what it is? Absolutely not. I can say what it's not. It's not a whirling ball in space. Well, thank you for those words of wisdom, Dan. That's just perfect flat earther logic. I can't say what it is. And I also can't say what it's not. Which doesn't make any sense. 
I, I, I don't know what this is, but I know it's not a giraffe's knob. It's the most ridiculous thing anyone can say. There's no argument to be had there. If you can't say what it is, then surely you'd be able to say what it isn't. But flat earthers can't even do that. I just totally confuse myself. Now I don't even know what is or isn't. So belief will never be stricken from the equation. So to just simply deny it and denounce it all the time is as fruitless as trying to force your belief on anyone else. I didn't imagine that then, did I? Did he or did he not say that trying to force your beliefs onto somebody else is pointless? That is what he said, isn't it? But isn't that exactly what he tries to do in every single video, including this one, that he uploads to his channel? Now, I know maybe somebody could say that's what I do, but everything I talk about is based on proven reality and maybe making a little bit of fun of people like Daniel Pratt. But he's just said, in a nutshell, that it's pointless being a flat earther and it's pointless trying to convince anyone that the earth is flat. Which is pretty obvious, really, because it isn't. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel, Dan. And on that note, I think we'll call this video done. If it's your first time here, don't forget to give the video a like, click the subscribe button, and turn on bell to <coughs> and turn on bell notifications. I've been the Creaky Blinder, and I will see you all on Sunday for my live stream, 7:30 UK time. Take care, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.